that sometimes young people, they will base their decisions regarding the person that they want to marry or the person that, that they're in love with based off of their infatuation with them. So they may overlook serious issues of incompatibility, for example. So you have a brother and sister who want to get married, and on the face value, like if you were to talk to them, if you didn't know that they were in love or whatever, you would say you two are never compatible. And most likely, if they were to go speak to a sheikh or an imam or something like that, or they got some premarital counseling or something like that, the, they, it's very likely that the imam or someone would tell them, listen, you guys have a lot of issues that you need to work out before you actually enter into a relationship. Uh, so that's, 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 the first, that's the first thing. SubhanAllah, I remember once uh, a brother came up to me, a young brother, and uh, he told me, he said, sheikh, I'm in love with this girl, da da da, all this kind of stuff. And I said, okay, tell me about her. And I know this brother very well. So I was like, okay, tell me about her. And I was like, if you can, t if you can tell me about her, uh, I'll give you my advice on whether I think, inshallah ta'ala, the two of you will be compatible or not. And then he told me about her, and then I realized that she is very, very different than him. And he was actually a religious brother. She was completely not religious and all of that. And so I said, I, I told him, I said, listen, uh, what's the deal here? Like, I know this is not like you. If I were to ask you, normally I would never imagine that you would marry someone like this in terms of like your religiosity or whatever you want to call it, you guys are on very different levels. And then he tells me, he says, you know, Sheikh, I just, I just felt like the first time I met her, you know, I just felt, it just felt right. And I felt like this is the one. This is my soulmate. Inshallah, we'll talk about soulmates, inshallah. But he said, this is the one. And I said, okay, let me just ask you one question. And I said, think about this question and then, and then tell me what you feel about the decision that you're about to make. I said, inshallah ta'ala, this girl or this woman, she will inshallah ta'ala one day be the mother of your children. She's going to be the person raising your children, giving your children the tarbiyah and, and upbringing and all of that. Are you comfortable with this person raising your children? And do you foresee any issues? And then he thought about it for a while and I told him, I said, you know, go home, think about it, come back to me. And then he came back to me and, and he told me, he said, he said I, I don't see it. He said, I never, I never thought that far ahead. And that's the problem in infatuation that people, we get so blinded by this quote unquote love that people don't tend to think beyond the attraction that they have initially.